أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم Hi and welcome everybody This is engineer Jamal Badr from Egypt uh, We will talk today about Panasonic network server KXNS 500 which is really pure IP PPX We will uh, explain everything about this important PPX First system overview uh, This is some images or pictures for uh, the main unit from inside And this is the front side of the PPX to demo and show interfaces located on this site from left to right we'll find status led which is must be run green for the system to be in a proper working condition second led is PPX mode which <coughs> will be light and red if system collects any minor or major problems here is the initialized switch which we will use for the first time we use the system to initialize the system to our region default setting and of course we can use it again to erase all programming and come back to the initial default setting <coughs> this led will flicker during connection between NS and LAN this is the LAN connection port which will be used to connect this PPX to the LAN or directly to our PC or laptop for programming this USB interface is used for system upgrade or to have a backup of system programming this card is an optional card and needed if you want to expand capacity of the system or to use uh, in case of we want to expand uh, to expand the uh, system capacity and using expansion units this stacking card gave us three ports to connect more units exactly three expansion unit for the system to be reached to the maximum capacity these slots is for expansion this is a basic slot which is for six analog co line of course this Parties can be assigned to be an external music hold interface or an external pager interface and in each main unit we have these two slots for expansion we can add one digital or analog CO line interface 
and of course we can use one door phone and door opener card per unit only one expansion c o line digital or analog and only one door phone and door opener card can be added to each cabin this interface is for two digital phones and they will give us another two digital phones through digital etc device port as we will see these five ports will give us interface for connecting 16 singing line telephone and it comes initially equipped with this unit these two slots are for expansion and we'll explain soon how to use these slots this about the front panel interfaces as we mentioned before this is a stacking card KXNS5130 which must be installed to use three expansion units like this expansion units is connected to the main unit through RG, RJ45 cables so from each expansion unit to the main unit we must connect RG45 straight cable <coughs> to connect the expansion unit maximum three expansion units can be connected we have three interfaces for three expansion units this is the maximum configuration which you can get from kxns 500 but we can expand capacity more than this by some means which will be described later or uh, not necessary in this video but it will be explained in in coming videos inshallah we explain that the main unit comes with six CO line analog CA line interfaces initially equipped with the main unit these three ports gave us interface to connect each port gave us connection for two CO line <coughs> or two external music and hold source or and to external pager each port individually can be used for co line or music and hold and or pager this interface gives us two digital extensions 101 and 102 <coughs> each of them can give us another digital extension 101 can give us 103 through digital etc device port 102 which is the second port second digital port which 
connected to the main unit through this interface can give us another extension another digital extension of course with a different programming different number different class of service nothing is common between them except the connection port just the physical port but they are different completely they are two different extensions all connection for CO lines music and hold external pager all of these connection and interfaces uses direct or standard RJ45 cables <coughs> for analog CO line ports any port can be programmed as external pager or music on hold and it comes by default for CO line connection for analog CO line connection <coughs> these five ports will give us 16 single line telephone interfaces So we can connect <coughs> two single line telephone in this port. It is written here one and two. <coughs> SLT number three and four from this port, from five to eight from this port, from nine to eleven here, from <coughs> thirteen to sixteen here in details this port will give us a connection for single line telephone extension 105 and 106 and this for 107 and 8 and this for 9 10 11 12 this for 13, 14, 15, 16 and the last one for extension from 117 to 120 <coughs> single line telephone numbers starting from 105 by default if we select numbering extension numbering to start from 101 and if we select during initial setting that the extension numbers starting from 201 so single line phones will start with 205 from 101 to 104 is four digital extensions as we mentioned before main unit comes with six analog trunk interface and slot four and five for digital or analog co line expansion and only one door phone card so the rule is we can use only one door phone card with unit per unit i can't install two door phone cards or i can't install two co line cards just one card digital or analog this is the analog expansion card which can be installed to give ad additional 
six or to add six analog trunk lines <clears throat> and this card is for digital E1 ports or PRI ports card this card supports the two function in the same time and by programming we will select which function will be used again only one door phone card can be installed per unit and only one expansion trunk card per main unit or expansion unit only one analog or digital this is analog trunk and one door phone if you want to use expansion slots to expand system capacity or one door phone card and one digital trunk card so you can use digit one digital trunk card or one analog trunk card and only one door phone card these two slots number six and seven is for extension expansions type of expansion cards which can be used for this unit or with this system of course with main unit or expansion unit face type for hybrid digital line card which supports supports the inter supports interface for for digital phone and for single line telephone and another four digital phones through digital etc device port another type dlc8 which will support eight digital extension dlc16 will support 16 digital extension mslc will support eight single line telephone with fsk color id type and message waiting lamp control this is m for message message waiting lamp control m single line card eight interface and mslc which is a double of this will support 16 extension single line telephone extensions with fsk type color id color id type is fsk only for telephones not for extension external lines please notice the difference please be careful when using msl c16 or dlc16 these cards only can be connected here in slot 06 in this case slot 07 cannot be used at all as the figure indicate and as we said before main unit comes with 16 single line telephone another 16 extension can be added 
digital phones or single line phones or both of them but only one 16 expansion card digital or analog can be connected with each unit only in slot number six and in this case slot seven will not be used at all for any other type of cards or any other use now we will come to initial and maximum capacities and we made two uh, diagrams to explain for the main unit or basic unit maximum collection of all type of extension will not exceed 162 and 168 was digital etc device port of course but individually 18 digital per body telephone is maximum 32 SLT is the maximum number of single line telephone which can be taken from any unit analog probability telephone which is uh, 7730 can be used with maximum 8 unit bare main unit or expansion unit of course we can connect 128 IBPT or and SIP phones or SIP portable station <coughs> for maximum capacity which you can get this is the maximum number and this is the maximum collection of all of this which is detailed here for anyone to use it when expanding KXNS 500 but please notice that 7730 will only be used when we install this DHLC card. This card is always needed if you want to use the analog property telephone 7730. As a summary of what we say before we have collect all this information in this figure and we concentrate on this maximum capacities which we cannot exceed for this main unit 32 single line telephone maximum and maximum analog maximum 8 analog property telephone and maximum 12 analog trunk lines this this port is for single line telephone connections as we mentioned before this is for digital this is for analog trunk this is for expansion this for LAN connection or direct PC program now we will talk about wiring which is very very easy all connection for NS500 is carried out through using RG standard cable <coughs> for operator or digital phone connection 
we will use RG45 cable and we'll use orange and orange white pair for extension 101 the operator and the green pair green and green white for extension 102 102 and 101 will be connected through orange pair and green pair which is one two three and six points here one two three and six <coughs> in details orange white and orange will be used for connecting extension 101 but we must connect it to number one and four on the connection box which is the outer pin one and four this pin two and three is always for single line telephones whenever you want to connect a digital phone please use this outer first and last pen one and four one and four and green pair will be used for extension 102 orange pair will be connected to one and four because telephone using rg11 interface and of course another cable can be connected directly from 101 to give 103 with dxdb function this orange white orange pair will be connected to 101 101 through another rg cable to connect 103 green pair will give connection for 102 and the direct rg 11 cable will give us 104 for the xdb and <coughs> xdb when using four when using four digital extension card DHLC4 we will get eight digital barbaric telephone and four single line telephone to be connected through this way one and four will be four digital extensions Two and three, which is the inner pen, will be for single line telephone. Like this. If you go to system programming, we can find that uh, for DHLC card will give us master for digital phone and additional for digital phones. Uh, this is uh, for single line telephone and this for 
first for digital telephone and this for uh, second digital telephone. For CO line, analog for analog CO line connection, each port will give us to interface to connect to outside line. In this case, we'll use orange and orange white and brown brown white, which is one and two, seven and eight. Here, one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This pair for line number 2 and this pair for line number 1. If you connect RG45 to this port. If you connect another RG45 to this port, we will get line 3 and line 4. Another RG45 cable to be connected to the third port here will give us line 5 and line 6 and will be connected to the inner pin of the connection box for 2 and 3 pin 1 and 4 in the connection box is always for single line 1 and 4 is always for digital telephone and the only will be used only for digital phones only for digital connection but for single line telephone and CO line this two screw will be used for connection which is connected to two and three two and three here for CO line and single line telephone we must use this screws now we will see how to connect external battery to be used as an alternative power source when power goes down here is the interface to connect external battery and we must use this cable with this number this switch for connection or, on, or to connect or not or uh, connect connection of uh, battery external battery uh, comes with some uh, version of uh, KNS 500 and it is uh, deleted after that it is not used after that many units I see with this uh, this switch is not uh, equipped here anymore but this interface is always here to connect batteries this is the rear by the way this is the rear side of uh, KS, KXNS 500 this is a plug for uh, EC power in and this ground connection and this power on and off and this for battery and this can be uh, available or no or no you can find it or you cannot find it depend on the version of PPX to connect batteries you must use three identical battery with 12 volt connected in series to have a multiply of potential difference to have 36 volt which is needed for power for the system to be work correctly how to initialize panasonic kxns 500 
for the first time it's very very easy first be sure that this initialize switch is in this initialize side which is the right sorry left side then power on the system three wait for this led to start flicker when you see this led start flickering move initialize switch to normal position and wait about two or three minutes it will be fixed green and system work it's very easy just move initialize switch to system initialize side bar on the system wait until this led start flickering then move this initialize switch to the normal position to the right wait for about three or four minutes from two to four minutes and system will start working now we will go to LAN connection we do initial initializing we we initialize the system and we will now go to how to program the system so go inside programming you must use standard rg45 straight cable connection from LAN board or main unit to your laptop or PC first connect straight RG45 cable from LAN board or main unit to your LAN board on your PC this is the first step and you don't need any special software to interface and program the system but default IP for our system is 192.168.0.101.0 is not commonly used all of us are using dot one so in many in most cases people try to connect to system and do what we say but they can't connect to the system because our LAN boards are in another LAN not on LAN zero so we can go to control panel network and internet network connection and find IB4 uh, setting and go to IP address and give us an address related to this LAN which will be in the same LAN with the VBX in this case we can be connected otherwise if your LAN setting is taking a LAN with dot one and system is dot zero they will not be see each other so please be careful about this step again our system have this IP address by default so our LAN setting must be in the same lane PPX is taking 101 by default so I can use any number dot zero any number from 1 to 
255 of course 254 but not 101 because it is used for ppx so 50 60 70 80 uh, 200 as you wish but please be in dot zero lane to see the bbx or to be connected easily with your ppx so you set your land setting to be in the same land domain with pbx so open any browser you have and put this ip address and enter you will be go to this screen and you'll be asked to put username and password which is by default is installer capital letter and one two three four just write installer and one two three four in these places username and password and login you will be here in the system and from here we explain before in many videos how to deal with your ppx but we will preview what we say before here you can select your interface language language and here if you are using uh, the system as a slave for an another uh, pre-installed system you can select to be a slave we will need an activation key if you want to use one lock system here you can select your area your uh, area code or your country you will be listed under this menu will this is a drop down menu a new password but not the old one one two three four will not be accepted you must change this password and rewrite it and go to start setup wizard one lock network is always using ns 1000 as a master unit this master unit must be ns1000 this sites will be ns500 and will be set to slave through system programming this one lock networking and uh, how to connect uh, system located in different uh, physical position or different uh, or uh, different uh, physical location how to be connected to act like uh, one system or actually they will act as one system uh, so they are named one lock networking uh, this will be explained in a separate video second menu in system setup wizard will be for date and time and daylight time saving third one will be you will be asked to select if you want to use feature number with asterisk or without asterisk and here you can select to see your line access number it is zero by default and nine for operator all of us first time connecting ns 500 they not 
change this to nine and leave it to zero. They trying to uh, test the system. They are open uh, speaker phone and dial nine. Dial nine is for operator by default. So you are calling yourself. You will hear busy tone or reorder tone. But if you change it as we uh, used it to use, we are used to use nine for CO line access and zero for operator. So please be uh, careful about this. Here we be selected. You will be asked to select to start extension numbers from 101 or from 201 for three digit numbering or you can select to use it from the beginning four digits starting from 1000 or 2000 uh, select what you want but of course they can be changed we explain this in a separate video this is the default values when we select uh, to use numbering plan with asterisk one and two and four and five and six is used for extension numbering and this is the code for most operations but if you select type 2 to use feature numbers without asterisk you will get this four digits for extension numbering like this four digit because fixed two digit and two variable digit with minimum value of zero zero and nine nine as we explained before so this will be from one thousand to one thousand ninety nine from 1100 1199 and so on and so on and this will be the codes for features when we use feature number numbers without asterisk which is very similar to that used in digital 1232 and older PBX. Next screen will be for operator and manager. You can select any extension to be manager and any extension to be uh, operator. And for operator, you can also use common call distribution group operator connection and programming have a separate video which is located on the internet I mean uh, four or five months ago but it is in Arabic I am an Arabic uh, man and I speak Arabic I have asked to do my videos in English I'm sorry I have a broken English but I think it's uh, you can understand me. Next screen, you will be asked for CO line dialing mode, of course, and it is by default DTMF. Please leave it DTMF. And if you install this PRI E1 card, please select which function you want to use from this card. Coming call distribution group can be selected from initial setting, but please leave it no. And if you want to use it, use it through programming after that. Then setting this is the default IP address, of course, can be changed after that, especially if you are using static IP. Uh, this screen is about using uh, IP phones, SEP phones or 
IPPT Panasonic or any other type but of course you have four uh, open IP phones can be used directly without any license but you need to install voice I over IP DSB card any type you have three type DSB uh, small and medium and large with these part numbers respectively you can use any one of them but you will not be able to use voice over IP function without DSB card installed in the main unit please be careful this is the end of our lecture or session um, I hope you can find uh, something useful for you and you can understand what I want to uh, tell you about uh, thank you for listening to me and I hope this video to be helpful for you see you again